Well, a spike in COVID cases in Evanston has health officials there urging pandemic safety measures again. WGN's Kelly Davis live with the latest there. Kelly? Hey, Ben and Micah, as COVID cases continue to rise, the city of Evanston is not quite ready to reinstate its mask mandate, but they are strongly encouraging people to mask up when they go inside. And many residents we spoke with today say they are happy to oblige. While the cases are increasing, people aren't still, still aren't really changing their habits um, to reflect that. Natalie Corruptin is an international student from Thailand. She says it was common practice to wear a mask back home and continues to do so here. Even though we don't have the mask mandate anymore, I'm still wearing masks inside classrooms, etc. Evanston raised its COVID transmission level to high as cases climb. The city reported 397 new COVID-19 cases over the last seven days compared to 305 the week prior. We are not out of the woodwork. We are still in a pandemic. The CDC looks at three different metrics when determining community risk levels. The number of new COVID cases, the hospitalization rate, and the percentage of occupied ICU beds. Fortunately, that risk level is still at medium. That might change next week, and that's why it's imperative for our community members to follow the public health guidelines. Evanston Skokie School District reports 197 new COVID-19 cases since last week. In a website message, School District 65 says, quote, it may be necessary to require masks as a preventative measure in some circumstances. The city of Evanston removed the mask mandate months ago, and while it's no longer required, right now masks are strongly encouraged. Everyone seems pretty gung-ho about masks, and I'm happy to see that. You go around Evanston, you still see people you know, wearing their mask, trying to keep their distances. So overall, our community members have significantly listened to the voice of science. City officials say people don't need to panic, but they are asking the community to be mindful that COVID is still here. While I'm a student and I'm young, if I get COVID, yeah, sure, it's probably going to be okay. But then there are other people who are more vulnerable than I am. And I think everyone in this community should also be aware of that and make it a safe place for everyone. Health officials had a couple other reminders for people. If you're getting together, take it outside. And if you're not feeling well, take a COVID test before getting together with family and friends. Live in Evanston, I'm Kelly Davis. Back to you. Thanks, Kelly. Chicago's risk level is hovering at medium with about 1,000 confirmed cases reported today. Hospitalizations and deaths remain low with more than 20,000 tests conducted on a daily basis. The White House COVID-19 coordinator